everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are comparing the T3 Single Pass Curling Wand. This is the 1.25 inch versus the T3 Voluminous Curling Wand. Now this is the one that's 1.5 inches and the barrel and the base is sold separately and this part is interchangeable. So I purchased both of these curling irons for a pretty good deal on Black Friday and I wasn't sure which one I wanted so I got them both and I made sure I was able to return the one that I didn't want. I wanted to compare not only like the functionality of them both because they are a little bit different but I wanted to also compare which curl I like more. Do I like the tighter 1.25 curl or the more voluminous wide 1.5 curls? So if you're trying to decide what T3 curling iron to go with, um, this is a really good video for you to watch. Or if you're not sure what curling iron size you want in general, this is a good um, video for you to watch because I'm kind of unsure about that too. It's been a while since I've curled my hair with a curling wand. I usually curl it with a, um, a straightener, so I'm kind of unsure if I want like big voluminous curls or if I like like the tighter curls. So this is a really good test for me. So leave a comment below and let me know which curls you like better. Do you like the voluminous curls that I'm gonna be doing on this side or do you prefer the tighter curls that I'm gonna be doing with this side? Before we start, make sure you like this video and also subscribe to my channel because I make videos like this on a weekly basis and you really don't wanna miss out on future videos. I do a lot of fashion videos on my YouTube channel, um, but if you want to see more beauty stuff, make sure you follow me on my Instagram because I think I post more beauty related stuff on my Instagram page. Okay, let's start off by talking a little bit about the functionality of the T3 curling irons. So this is a single pass curling iron. Um, the way it turns on is on the bottom here. So the single pass has a knob right here that you can like twist and depending on how much you twist it it goes up to these levels so you can see like the cascading lights that means that it's um, warming up right now so i just turned that on to get it nice and hot Ooh, it's getting hot really really fast super fast i literally maybe did it a second ago and i can barely touch it so fast I'm gonna turn on this one as well so we can see them both at the same time. So this curling iron is an interchangeable one and this one actually has a button that you press and you can see the cascading lights like that to show that it's warming up and yep, it's getting really hot really fast. Compared the twist to this button, this is a pretty standard you know, way to turn on. Um, it's not bad but if I was comparing the two, I prefer the twist. So personally, I like this function a lot better than the button. I think this one is a lot more innovative. Um, and I just like the feeling of being able to like twist it and it makes like this clicking noise. This clicking noise and this clicking feeling gives me like an oddly satisfying feeling. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of cool. So right off the bat, the T3 curling irons are so beautiful. I love this white color with the rose gold. So the one with the interchangeable barrel, the rose gold seems a little bit more of like a matte finish and the single pass is more of like this shiny finish. So I'm gonna start by spraying a little bit of dry shampoo into my hair because it's looking a little flat up here and I don't want that to, um, you know, throw off the whole look. Rub that in, give me a little boost at the roots. I'm gonna try my best to curl my hair in the same direction on both sides um, so the curls will you know, turn out the same. I'm gonna start by sectioning off my hair. Okay. start the clamp in the middle and then roll it up. 
I feel like when I clamp it in the middle, it gives me a lot more volume and the curls stay better when I do it like this. It stays longer. So I curl it in the middle and then I like let it go a little bit all the way to the end. Hold it up and I let it cool in my hand so it gives it like a bouncier curl. with the interchangeable barrel. I'm gonna do the same, I'm gonna curl in the middle. And with the barrel, you can change it out. So this part actually comes off and you can um, connect other barrels to it. The single pass curling iron, you can't do that. So you can't take out the top and change it. And I just wanted to add that to take this off or to put it on is super easy. Really, really, really easy. I think I was kind of nervous about that at first. Um, sometimes even with like an electric toothbrush, sometimes it could be really hard to like take it off and put another one on. But with this one, it's so easy. It has these like grooves and I can show you after I'm done. It's too hot right now, so I can't show you. Um, but it has these grooves that kind of just fit in and it fits in really, really easily. I don't have to use any like force or anything like that. So that's a huge plus for me when it comes to these interchangeable barrels, knowing that you could buy, you know, if I wanted a smaller size, if I wanted um, something different, a different barrel, I can totally just buy the barrel and change it really easily. already the 1.25 single um, pass curling iron is giving me tighter curls and this side is giving me more like voluminous curls as of now I still don't know which curl I like more I think I'm gonna really know once I do everything and like brush my curls out Same on this side, I'm gonna grab my single pass curling iron and curl away from my face. So I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm gonna curl up so I really get like the root of my hair. taking my 1.5 voluminous curls and doing the same. So I start at the middle and then I roll up. I wanted to add that the voluminous curling iron is a little bit heavier than the other one. I mean, it makes sense because it is a bigger curling iron. Now, I don't want my hair to be too curly, so I'll be brushing this out later. Well, this side is looking a lot tighter, um, a lot more curly than this side. And I don't really like my hair to be super curly. I would rather have it be more voluminous. Um, but at the same time, this side honestly looks like it's going to fall out a lot faster than this side. And that's a little bit of a worry for me because I do want my hair to stay wavy all day. I don't wanna do my hair and then have it fall flat immediately after I do it. Okay, 
Okay, now we're doing the last bit of my hair and then we're gonna brush this all out and see what it looks like. Um, it doesn't pull my hair at all, which was kind of like an issue with my old curling iron um, And that's why I stopped curling my hair with a curling iron because my previous curling iron my hair would get like stuck in This part and it would kind of pull it out So that's why I stopped using it But so far this curling iron is super smooth and it's not pulling out my hair at all Okay, now that I'm done curling my hair, this is kind of the moment of truth where I'm gonna brush all my curls out and we'll compare which side looks better. this with a little bit of hairspray so we don't lose the curls. Ta-da! Here we have it. So on this side of my hair, I curled it with the T3 um, single pass curling iron. The size is 1.25. And on this side, I did the T3 1.5 voluminous curls with the interchangeable barrel. I'm loving all the volume I'm getting on this side. It's really pretty. So comparing both sides of my hair, I really like this side a lot more. This side is a lot more bouncy. It's a lot more voluminous. Um, I like the natural curls. It's not so curly. This side is really beautiful too. I don't think this side is bad. I just prefer the more voluminous, natural, bouncy curls this side has versus this side. On this side, the curls are a little bit tighter. I have a feeling though that this side is probably gonna last a lot longer than this side. Because the curls are more loose on this side, throughout the day, the curls are gonna fall a lot faster than it is on this side. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me. Do you like this side more or do you like the tighter curls on this side? So I just wanted to show you really quick how easy it was to put on and take off the barrel on the top. So this is what the base looks like without the barrel. You can see here the barrel has a lock and it has an unlock. And it also has like a little knob here so you can twist if you want it to lock or you want it to unlock. This is the barrel and I'm going to show you how easily it fits in. So it's really simple. The has these little notches on it and then you just match it with the notches up here and it just fits in really, really seamlessly. You have to switch it over to locked once you have that in. Overall, I love the T3 curling irons. I think it works so well. It heats up so, so fast. Um, it's so easy to hold. It's such a beautiful product. So comparing the functionality of both of these curling irons, I think they both work really, really well. I honestly don't have any complaints about either of them. They both heat up super fast. I love the way the single pass clicks at the bottom. And with the interchangeable wand, I love how you're able to take the barrel off and put it on and switch it out with different barrels. I love that you can adjust the heat. If you want more heat, less heat, they're really easy to adjust. I also love the way it looks. I love the white color with the rose gold. I just think it looks really elevated. It feels really nice to hold. It doesn't pull at my hair at all. Um, my hair feels very smooth when I'm curling with it. 
and I really love it. So really I think it boils down to what size curling iron you like. If you like the voluminous curls, the more bouncy curls like I have on this side, or if you prefer more of a tighter curl. Hope you found this video to be helpful, whether you're trying to decide what T3 wand you should go with or what size you should go with. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I also post a lot of beauty stuff on my Instagram, so I'll link it down below and you can follow me there as well.